We are back on some Modern Warfare 3. And today, after doing the last Modern Warfare 3 video, I had a ton of fun coming back and playing this game. I felt it was only right that we came back, and now that Infected has 1,700 people on, I feel it's only right that we go in and play some Infected. Love how fast we found a lobby, and we got Terminal. And we got some split screeners. While the game loads up, I just wanted to welcome you to the channel if you're new. If you don't mind clicking that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, and I'm really hoping to get there soon within the next month or so. And let's do some crazy stuff on Infected. Please do not infect me first. That would suck. Three, two, please, please, no, 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 no. Okay, not us, not us. Let's go. No! Oh my gosh. Already? The worst of luck. They're trying to get on the plane. I'm just gonna have to... There we go. Okay. Someone's got to do it. Every map has that one spot, I feel like, that people always go to camp. On Terminal, it's the plane wing. Um, on the one map, I forget the name of the map, but it's behind the counter. Regardless, Infected was so much fun on Modern Warfare 3. Do you guys remember back in the prime of this game where you would play a few Infected games and then you'd always get the message like, hey, you know, message all recent players. I'm hosting private match Infected. No throwing knives. Like, come on and join. And you would put on, like, LMGs and just try to make the most OP class for you and your buddies to try to get a Moab with these random players in the game. Seeing everyone camp back here, too, reminds me of playing Dodgeball in Modern Warfare 2, man. That was so much fun. That game was so fast. All right, please don't be us. Please don't be us. Do any of you guys just remember like random nukes or Moabs or anything that you got back in the day? Because I definitely do. I remember getting my first nuke. I remember uh, I nuked Wasteland like twice in one night one time in Modern Warfare 2. And I... Oh, no. Okay. But after the first one, I remember texting my friend. Because, like, we used to text each other when we got nukes. It was a big... It was a big deal when we were, like, 11 years old to get a nuke on Modern Warfare 2. I texted my friend. I remember having the slide-up phone and texting him, like, hey, you know, just nuked Wasteland. And then in a couple hours, I texted him. I'm like, just nuked Wasteland again. And he's like, oh, shit. I just heard a throwing knife. Someone around me? I don't remember where to camp on here. I'm going to guess it's... Okay, well, this doesn't matter now. I really want to try and get like a Moab or go on a streak here, but it's just not been working out. Okay, we got spawned in when there's already eight people, four people. I feel like this is going to go bad. We're going to try and go over to the spot to help the boys out. Okay, okay, hello. Hi, hi whole team. Would you guys enjoy if I set up like a private match infected one night? I really want to start streaming again soon, like I've been talking about. He was in the burger town. The sweat always you just used to aim at each other like this if one of you's first infected one of my funniest memories though every time i think about infected i think about this is place yourself back in the mind of a 2011 gamer on call of duty right kill death ratio before skills based matchmaking was everything you would brag to your friends about your kd you would compare kd to see who's better your entire goal pretty much on a new Call of Duty was to have the highest KD out of all your friends. If you couldn't even hold a 1.0, you got made fun of. And it just made you want to get better until you could. But the problem is, is when Modern Warfare 3 came out, there was kind of a cheat code to improving your KD on this game. And I didn't discover it, but one of my friends did. And then I think everyone started to do it because it was true. So the thing about Infected was, is this counted towards your kill death ratio. So a lot of times on Infected, what people were doing is so they would go and they would play infected and then once they died they would just go high and they would have you know 20 30 kills and one death so if you felt like your kd was ever slipping or it was a little lower than your buddies and you wanted to get past him all you had to do was go grind infected for a couple hours get 10 20 30 kills a game and then once you get infected just go hide oh deploying c4 Oh, he missed me. Are they coming from behind me? I'm out, I'm out. The knives are flying. This could be our game. Oh, if they can hold from behind us, I'm kind of scared. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust... You gotta have trust in your teammates. You gotta have trust in your teammates. Oh, I have no ammo. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. No! How close were we? We were on 15. But that's what it was. So you would play infected, you would get 15 kills, and then you just would not worry about nothing. You would go and hide in the corner until the game was over. And, you know, if you do this for an hour, and it's back when the game, you know, you only have 2,000 kills, you can improve your KD by 10, 20% so fast. 
All right, I'm gonna play a couple more and see if I can try and streak here before I end the video. If you guys want an infected part two, you know, let me know. I would definitely be down to come back and do this. I want a terminal redo after getting infected so fast. I totally forgot the first infected got a weapon. I remember back when we used to play the private match lobbies that the cheat used to be where if you got infected but you didn't want to play as one of the infected, you would leave and change your clan tag and rejoin and however that worked, it would make it to where you got to like be not infected again. No! Come on. All right, this is my last try. This is like when you're playing with your friends and you continue to say, one more one more one more this is me playing infected i could play infected for hours it is addicting okay there's one that was lucky gotta get all the scavenger packs so we don't run into that ammo problem like we just ran into on oh my he how did he miss me deploying c4 oh, the truck the truck why did the truck blow up i guess the truck can't blow up there's a tack right there i gotta play one more all right here we go that initial countdown, man. The anxiety is always up for it. Oh my God. Great aim. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Let's just say the type might not be our best uh, weapon. See if he's going to come back. No. Oh, I tried to knife him. What am I doing, man?